Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Paige Lesko alongside Catherine Heasley, and these are your morning announcements. Juniors are reminded to invite their parents to attend the post secondary planning informational meeting to be held Wednesday, February 8th at 5 30 p.m. in the CSC. Seniors are encouraged to check the scholarship page on the counseling website. Numerous scholarship opportunities have recently been added. Do you play guitar, bass guitar, piano, or drums? The Jazz Band is currently looking for instrumentalists for the rhythm section for next year's senior high jazz band. This applies to all current 8th through 11th graders. Any student interested should contact Mr. Sheridan by Monday, February 6th. Today is the final day to, su to submit your designs for the annual Pi Day t-shirt design contest. Students are asked to create a unique design for the front of the event shirts. Only original designs will be accepted. Please do not choose a design available on the internet. Designs can be submitted to Mrs. Shannon or your math teacher. The top five designs selected by the math department will be voted on by the student body. The winner will receive a free t-shirt in addition to have their designs on all of the shirts. Are you someone who likes to work outside, prefer physical labor, and comfortable with heights? West Penn Power and WCCC have partnered together to offer an associate degree in electric utility technology. To learn more about this exciting opportunity, an information session will be held on Saturday, February 4th at WCCC. To get more information, visit their website at www.firstenergycorp.com PSI and choose the Get Invited link. Attention sophomores and juniors interested in a career in engineering. An informational meeting concerning the Young Engineers Program scheduling option will be held Thursday, February 9th at 7.25 a.m. In, in the library classroom. The Young Engineers Program is available to juniors and seniors and is taught in conjunction with Canna Metal Corporation. Students in the Young Engineers class have the opportunity to work directly with Canna Metal Engineers at their Technology Center to learn more about engineering in a hands-on in, in hands setting. At this informational meeting on February 9th, students will learn more about the program and have the opportunity to ask questions. Students interested in, in attending the presentation should sign up in the 1112 office as soon as possible. Spring sports physicals will take place on February 8th. Be sure to stop by the athletic office to pick up necessary paperwork that must be submitted at least two days before the physical date. Attention all members of the reading competition team. There will be a mandatory meeting immediately after school on Wednesday, February 8th. All members must attend. There will be a National Art Honor Society meeting on Tuesday, February 7th at 7 a.m. in room F201. We will be discussing our exhibit at the La Trobe Art Center, the field trip, and volunteer opportunities. All Chick-fil-A Leader Academy students are asked to check their email for important information about the Impact Project planning meeting. We will be back after this commercial break. February 2nd through the 10th, French Club will be selling carnations for Valentine's Day at all lunches. Make sure you know the person's homeroom for whom you want to send it to. Carnation prices will be $2 for one, $3 for two, $4 for three, and $5 for four. All the flowers will be delivered Valentine's Day morning with your personalized notes. Get ready for Polar Palooza on March 3rd. The event will take place from 3.40 to 10.30 p.m. all throughout the senior high. Polar Palooza is open to students grades 9 through 12 and teams consist of 8 members. This will be on first come first serve basis with a limit of 49 teams. Tickets will be on sale for grades 11 and 12 on February 14th through February 15th and for grades 9 through 12 on February 16th and February 17th. Ticket costs are $15 per person, this including pizza, a water voucher, and a favor. To qualify for the grades 11-12 registration, you must have a minimum of four juniors or seniors on the team. Events include volleyball, badminton, ping pong, and other events listed on the screen. Get your teams ready to chill out at 2017's Polar Palooza. Registration forms for Polar Palooza are available in the student waiting area of the 910 and 1112 offices and on the Senior High webpage. Do you want to be a part of Polar Palooza but don't want to join a team? Student Council needs volunteers to assist with various games and activities throughout the night. If you are interested in volunteering, please see Mrs. Hauk in room C107 by Monday, February 13th. The German Club will meet Wednesday, February 8th at 2.45 in Herr Kiefer's room. The badminton tournament will be discussed. The German Club needs volunteers to help organize the tournament. Anyone who can help is appreciated. Please talk to Herr Kiefer if you can help out. 
The tournament will take place on Friday, February 24th. Now here is Zach Acosta with the weather report. Thanks Paige. We have more cold temperatures these next couple days. Today we are looking at a high of 28 and a low of 14 with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we expect sunshine with a high of 31 and a low of 21. And Sunday we will have a high of 38 and a low of 30 with snow. That's all for weather. Back to you. Attention seniors and juniors. If you would like to be a 6th grade camp counselor, applications are available in the 1112 office. Counselors are needed in the following areas. General group counselors, certified lifeguards, rifle and archery, hunter safety course completion required, art and fishing. The deadline to apply is Tuesday, February 28th. If you are interested, do not delay in completing and turning in your application. Available spots will fill fast. For WCAT TV, this has been Kathryn Heasley and Paige Lesko. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for Wildcat All Access. Good morning. Welcome to Wildcat All Access. I'm your host, Devin Armel, alongside Zach Kukoska. After a slow start on Tuesday night, the Wildcats were able to pull away from visiting rival Hempfield for a 77-58 win. Austin Butler had 10 rebounds and 31 points. Jake Viss had 14 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, and 4 steals. And Reed Fenton had 16 points and 6 boards. With the victory, the Wildcats moved to 9-2 in the section. The JV team fell in double overtime by a score of 76-73. Anthony Fanny led the Cats with 27 points. Mirko Pandini had 16 and Colvin Stallings had 12. The team travels to Plum tonight and can certainly use fan support. On Wednesday, the freshman boys basketball team suffered a 59-45 home loss against Norwin. Jake Zazout Zazowski led the Wildcats with 16 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 steals, while Ethan Jacquet was also in double figures with 10 points and 6 boards. Vince Stallings had 6 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 steals. On Monday, the girls basketball team picked up a much needed win, 55-51, over arch-rival Hemfield. It was the team's first section win of the season. The Wildcats overcame a lot to trail only 29-26 at the end of the half, but they were even better in the second half. They outscored Hemfield 29-22 in the second half and came back from another five-point deficit. Carly Augustine played great defense and led the Wildcats to scoring with 16. Laura Graytalk added 14 points. The Stars were out for the well-represented Gray Latrobe hockey team during the 2017 All-Star Game. Goaltender Ryan Powell, defenseman Blake Rossi, and forward JT Schmizzi led the gold team to a 6-2 victory against teammates Corey Gates and Jack Schultes on the black team. Powell played the third period and stopped all nine shots faced, leading his team to a come-from-behind victory. Rossi registered a goal and an assist while Schmizzi also tallied a helper. Gates also had an assist for the black team. On Monday, a late goal allowed the junior varsity hockey team to defeat Deer Lakes 2-1. Derek Herjanski scored the game-winning goal with 36 seconds to play on a helper from Brantley Miller. John Florick tied the game in the second period. Assisted by Blake Lazeski, Ethan Bachman made 15 saves for the Ice Cats. In swimming and diving nudes, Taylor, Taylor Miller led the divers to a big win on Monday against backyard rival Derry as the La Lady Wildcats swept the diving event with all three qualifying for the Whippeo Division champions. Taylor won the event with her new school record, Jordan Miller placed second, and Lily Barta came in third. Carrie Lentz won the 200 individual medley for Greater Latrobe, while Riley Jackson took the 50 free and 100 backstroke, all three with qualifying times. Kylie Myers, Mears won the 100 butterfly and Joyce Ian won the 100 backstroke. The girls also won two of the three relay events. Jackson, Yin, Mears, and Molly Bobick took the 200 medley relay, while Lentz, Yin, Jackson, and Gloria, Hick Gloria Hickey won the 200 free relay with a qualifying time. Devin Fierce led the Great Latro boys with the first place finishing in diving, which included a Whippeo qualifying score. The team of Justin Pierce, David Marinchek, Daniel Marinchak, and Corbin McCarr also grabbed the top spot in the 400 free relay. In wrestling news, the Wildcats won five matches, but came up short during a 44-21 defeat against host Greensburg-Salem. Gabe Willishell, Mario Angelicchio, Brady Sherback, Tyler Zellers, and Joel Kowalski also recorded victories for Gregory Latrobe. Willishell and Kowalski both won by pins while Zellers scored a decision. Angelicchio and Sherback both won by forfeit. Gregory Latrobe will be back in action Tuesday, February 7th during an exhibition match at Connellsville. The Gray Latrobe Junior High Wrestling Team completed another team goal by placing third at the North Allegheny Invitational out of 36 teams. The Cats had seven place winners. Tyler Kimmerman 
took first, Enzo Angelicchio second, Jack Pletcher third, Logan Zitterbart third, Gabe Golden third, Logan Gustafson fifth, and Connor Johnson sixth. The Cats have just two more events to end their season. Connellsville on February 7th and Whitfields at Norwin on February 17th and 18th. Congratulations to Letterman's Club Athlete of the Week, Sydney Green, Rachel Harder, Maria Kowalski, and Anna Ramsey. At the, Youngta at the Youngstown State University High School Invitational, the girls' 4x800 meter relay um, team had a very strong performance. The girls shattered the school indoor record and ran a PA state qualifying time, which ranks them currently 7th in the state. The girls were one of two teams to beat the track record at YSU. Congratulations, girls. Other top 10 finishers include a ninth place finisher for Faith Mucci in the 60 meter dash and Gabby Wyrick placing 10th. The girls 4x200 relay also took high honors, placing third overall with Shannon Dupree, Gabby Wyrick, Faith Mucci, and Sydney Green. On the boys' end, Zach Williams was the top finisher for the Cats, placing fourth in the 400. Colin Wilson took 10th place in honors of the 800 meter run. Joe Piper took 8th place in the 60 meter dash and then paired up with Zach Carl, Mitchell Carl, and Zach Williams to place third in the 4th by 200 relay. Zach Carl, Mitchell Carl, Colin Wilson, and Zach Williams took third in the, f in the 4 by 400 relay. Great job. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Wildcat All Access. Go Wildcats!